me. Okay, so I had to kind of rush through last time since we one of the you know actually go to sleep before work. Uh, and right now Darren is dying from something called death. It's like some sickness called death. And uh, what you guys did last time is you um, met the wonderful, wonderful uh, Sylphie of Team Waywalket, and uh, went down into a cave, found some necromancy stuff, beat up a necromancer. And got rewarded for it. Um, I think some of you guys had some shopping things you wanted to do, but I had to kind of rush through last session. So as of right now, you, uh, you paid, you split the the, the money. Um, I put up the description for the Drift Globe. I don't know if you guys have, hopefully you guys copied it down. If not, it's in the uh, party chat in Discord. Um, I could go ahead and just assume that Sylphie helped with identification because she can actually cast that spell as a ritual without needing a component. Yay for artificers. Um, Sophie takes her found her her new funds and disappears off into her room and you haven't seen her since. Anyway, <laughs> it's uh, all you guys. So anything you guys wish to do right now? I give the uh, drift globe to Biv because since he's the only one who can't see in the dark. <laughs> all right, thank you. Are you see in the dark now? Yeah, I took dark vision. Oh yeah, yeah. I didn't even look up what ones you grabbed. <laughs> I took the one to make my thing hit harder, obviously, and... <laughs> oh, yeah, the frickin' charisma to your Eldritch yeah. Blast or whatever. Yeah, that's fine. Um, the only other item we have as far as loot from last time is the wand magic missile, and who wants that? Yeah, I know. Whoever mm -hmm. uses that bullshit. That's easy mode. Easy mode. Dude, uh, the Legend so... of Vid Burton, he went He went through last session with only three skills, because he didn't bother picking up his Barbarian skills. That's how hardcore he is. Oh, bro. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, magic, one magical missile is easy mode, especially when the uh, the enemy forgets to use their skills. Yeah, if, yeah, if they, they're so dazzled by it, they forget about the reaction spells. <laughs> <laughs> it completely negates it. <laughs> yeah, it wouldn't have changed the fight to be honest. It would just, but end, it, it would have, it would have prolonged it a little bit longer and maybe caused some skipped heartbeats. But honestly, you guys were pretty much doing all right. <laughs> uh, da, da, da. It's not like it, you guys were fighting a sixth level necromancer. <laughs> Who would do Ooh, something I... dumb like that? What's up, Hayden? I'm trying to think if I want to buy that uh, some form of silver weapon to go fight ghosts, but I don't think it will necessarily be needed. Um, yeah, I, I think you were talking about that at the end of last session, and I mean, you can definitely place an order for it over at the whatever the blacksmith thing was. Yeah, it's probably not in stock. Yeah. But... Usually they don't have them in stock. All right. But yeah, if you want to place an order, um, you can go and talk to them over at wherever that place was. Okay, yeah, it's a uh, 100 gold plus the what right. cost, was that right? Yep. Yep. Um, yeah, I would like to head over to that blacksmithing place. All right. Was it Ironhead Arms? Yeah, okay. So you head to Ironhead Arms. Um, over there, there is a... Uh, well, it says half orb. But I believe that's supposed to be half orc. Um, and he has a little bit of talent in, like, you know, repairing arms and armor and stuff like that. But for the most part, he usually gets his um, his goods from other smiths or, you know, sent from other cities or anything like that. So um, for something that's silver, um, that can actually, you know, endure the, the, the rigors of combat, it, he'll have to go ahead and place an order. Um, he pretty much can promise that it can come in, come in within a 10 day. So you're looking at about a week. Um, hello. Hi. I would like to put in an order for a silver glaive. All right. Um, and I slam down money. A, a sack <laughs> four gold. All right. I'll make note of it and yeah. And come back in a 10 day and more than likely it's somebody it doesn't get intercepted or anything weird like that. Uh, I should have it. That's ominous. Um, thank you. Well, it's it is the way it is around here. All right. So I think it was like a hundred gold plus whatever the price of the glaive is, which I don't even know what that is. It's like twenty or something. Twenty. Yeah. yeah. All right. I'll make notes that in ten days you 
you should be expecting something. All right. Well, um, anything else the rest of you guys wish to do? No, I, I don't have anything particular I need to do in town. Okay. I've rested up and made my offerings to nature for my spells. All right. Oh, yeah, you were able to memorize another spell. I don't know if you already picked one. I told you, I did. Okay. Thunder Wave. Coolness. All right. Well, um, besides uh, the shopping and stuff, what else are you guys going to do? If I remember right, the only other clear objective was dealing with the ghosts. Was that right? Yes. And I'm obviously not good with talking to moms. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, you know where the location of the to of the tomb is. That would be yeah, that information is known because you got that info. It was this one, right? Yep. That is the um, and Lance Rock was up there. This other X was. We'll just go ahead and call it what it was, which was bears and bows. No sign of any. No sign of Biff Bear. Yeah, Burton. All right. Um, if you now, do you guys wish to head out towards the t tomb, or are you guys going to go and investigate something else, or gather, or go talk in town some more? Uh, I'm okay with heading out. Yeah. Because we finished sure. up the finish up the bandit, and then we went to Lance Rock, and ended up fighting and getting our ass handed to us, but still succeeding. What's left is the the possible undead. All right, it is one, two, three. It's uh, eight miles away, so it's definitely not. It's a uh, probably one of your shorter trips. All right, so last call. This is you guys are going are you gonna, going to head to the tomb. Tomb of yes. annihilation. Tomb of annihilation. All right. Uh, do, do. Okay, so you head out, um, and you see you travel out. Uh, nothing too special out in the uh, out in the fields or anything like that. Uh, the day's hot, sun's out, no clouds. Um, you see a dark rectangular hole uh, gapes amid the grass and vines of a nearby hillside. A stone door can be seen ajar in the tunnel's dim depths. Uh, the door bears chisel marks that might have once, ha oh, might once have been a name. Um. Hmm. I'll approach up to this yeah, this, uh, approach. this door and just try to, uh, I guess, see if I can read the name. Okay. Uh, do, do, do. We'll do. Let's grab use. Let's grab tokens. I have a small map for this. As soon as I remember where I put you guys, here we'll grab these ones. They need to be updated. All right, let me put these together. Uh, so what's your dark vision now, um, Zeran? Right. 120. Do this. Un un unrestricted. Uh, it's like normal vision okay. for me. 120. Wait, you just went like, oh, yeah, you know, uh, you know the dark vision you have as an orc? Yeah, they're happy. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I was half I was half tempted Jeez. to take the freaking goggles that increases dark vision as well, but I didn't need a I didn't feel like it needed 120. <laughs> uh, yeah, one second, just checking things. In fact, while it's happening. Alright, let's uh switch you guys over to this. You can see it's well well drawn. <laughs> uh so yeah the the stone door is right there, 
And if you want to go ahead and approach it and try to read stuff on it, you definitely can. Was the door closed? It is... It is ajar. No, it's a door. You are going to die. <laughs> Both by sickness and by me. <laughs> jar, jar, and then a jar, jar. The only jokes that are allowed in this session is about crumble cake. Or Biff Burton. <laughs> Uh, can I read the name? Uh, do, 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 do. So, looking at the chisel marks, you think it used to be a name, but it's definitely like indecipherable. Well, I can't read this. Hmm. Oh, it's just unreadable. Yeah, it's it? it's. It is uh, a very old tome. Tomb. All right. It's a jar, though, right? It's it's kind of open a little. It's actually a vase or a vase. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it is slightly ajar, so you'll, it um, it's a stone door. It's slightly ajar, and looking through the crack of the jar part, it's pitch black in there. It's there's no lights or illumination. Ooh, oh, okay. Um, uh, yeah, no, I'll, I'll open the door yep. just to try to make, get like a clear look inside. Okay. I'll go ahead and move it all, all the way out. God, it's so weird. Like, so for your tokens, I see all your visions at once. So it makes it look oh like Biff Burton can just see so freaking far right now. <laughs> I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna whisper for a good old command word and send my orb sixty feet out. Okay. Oh boy. Let me take a quick <laughs> look at Drift Globe again. Okay, so I just we read the description. It it will follow you, but it, it's not something you just command to move around. Dang it! All right, cool. So I you, said, if so, you yeah. more, move more than 50 feet. All right, I'm just reading what I want to happen. Um, it's all good. I, I know the feeling. <laughs> he pulls the, he's pulling up the instructions like, hmm. He's like, he's like so you see him pull, he holds up the arm and goes, Shazam! And it floats, but it doesn't move. <laughs> well, disappointed, I approach the door, make sure there isn't any like obvious traps. All right, you can do a... Um... Uh, if you're doing it while moving, I'll say perception, but if you're actually taking time to, like, investigate every square inch, then I guess it'll be investigation. <laughs> Alright. Uh, let's see. Do, do, do. Um, so inside the passage, is, uh, inside the door is a passage 10 feet high by 10 feet wide, running straight into the hill. Um, about 30 feet. I think you can see that far. Yeah, you can see it about that far. About that far. Uh, 30 feet later, it opens into a square room, um, but you can't really make out much else from where you're at. Cool. Oh, actually, sorry. When you pushed open the door, um, a bunch of metal pieces fall to the fall to the the, uh, the stone floor and with a loud crash. All right. So yeah, when you open the door, like it, it's like almost like there was something propped up on it, and it just crashed to the ground. Can I see? Uh, is it just like random scrap? Yeah, it's metal, it is or? it is a bunch of metal pieces. That all that is all it is. Well, the ghost knows we're here. <laughs> Implying ghost. Well, well ghost ghost normally prop. Don't I'm about to say ghosts don't normally prop shit up on a door. Cool. So I take it we're not afraid of ghosts, and I'll take a good few steps in. All right. All right. Follow equally out, like, in pace behind him. Well, nothing has came at me yet. All right. So the room you're in, or approaching, um, it is... 30 feet by 30 feet, and it contains a stone block table, which I didn't bother putting up. 
Um, stains and marks atop the slab suggest rusted objects were once arrayed on it. Uh, in the middle of the wall to the right of the entry passage is a closed and severely rusted iron door. So that's that down there. All right. And I take it is this the rest of the gate? Yep. Yeah, that's old. Yeah, that's old school drawing map drawing stuff. <laughs> Wicked. Uh, uh, any inscriptions, or does the gate seem locked or anything like that? Um, you can, from looking at it, it is just a it is just a very rusted iron door. It doesn't seem to have anything. If it didn't have anything on it, you definitely don't see anything that's distinguishing. I want to investigate the table. Okay. Um, I'm assuming I'm in the rightish area for it. Yeah, yeah. Um, really, there's not much. There's kind of nothing really in here. I mean, dust. The, the dust around here has not really been disturbed or anything like that until you guys showed up. Hmm. Shall we continue on? Might as well. Yes. Nothing else in the room. Um, I'll attempt to push open the gate. Okay. When you touch the door, a ghostly uh, human male, uh, armored human uh, human male wielding a spectral longsword emerges from it. Oh. Uh, you may I... pass if you answer me these questions, please. <laughs> he looks at all three of you and simply just says, Get out. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Pew! Uh... Pew! <laughs> Yeah. Okay, I mean, uh, what, my name's Biv, uh, can we start with that? Alright, he, the specter starts attacking. Alright. Damn it, not even one conversation. <laughs> you guys will eventually understand how ghosts work in usually <laughs> these situations. I, I wish I had detect magic. This is the thing, is like, I wish I had either had... Oh, no, no, it wasn't detect, detect magic, detect it's magic. the, uh, <laughs> understanding how, uh, very straightforward. No, I, have, <laughs> I have feelings that this maybe not is entirely natural. Well, I see how I, mean, I see if my GM skills are still in, in play here. <laughs> really? <laughs> was, really? At least it wasn't an attack roll. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine obviously. We all have we, have. we have two things of healing. It's good. <laughs> you guys have so much healing. All right. Um, can you blame us? I mean, you can't. I, I could blame. I could blame a lot of things. No, no, it's all good. No, no, it's all... all right. So um, the specter will go ahead and uh, draw his longsword and swing it at uh, Biv Burton of the Clan Bur Burtons. All right. Here goes nothing. Biv Burton Waywalket. The Burton Waywalket uh, misses. All right. Goes to uh, Zuran. But bet you can't guess what I'm gonna do. Flee? No. <laughs> Close. Elder Splash. Uh, do, do, do. Oh, good. You updated it. All right. So it was. Easy. Yeah, I did that right, right? Uh, yeah, you did. Uh, okay. Your Christmas plus four, right? Yep. Yeah, yeah you're good. Okay. Uh, do, do, do. I'm just. This is force damage, I believe. Yep. Uh, do, do, do. Yes. Okay. So you blast him with some uh, Elder Blast, and it definitely its eyes glower at you um, as it kind of writes itself from the powerful blast that you emitted. Um, do you wish to do any movements or bonus action? No. No, I'm just going to kind of chill for a All moment. Alright, Biv Burton. Alright. Um, he uh, flees. 
Almost. Um, it's in a cave. I would like to say a command word and make my dude, uh, my little orb, go into daylight. Okay, daylight. Let's look up daylight. Uh, do, 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 do. 60 foot sphere of light. All right, so this thing's about three times stronger as far as light source, but it doesn't seem to um, deter the thing. Actually, hold on a second. Daylight. So basically, we just like, like get out as there's just this bright, shining light coming from the next to the parts spell that overlaps. Yeah, as far as I know, it's not the. Okay, it's just a really, really bright light, but and it can overcome darkness. So you definitely can see see a lot of the room now. Um. Uh, yeah. I'll, in a panic, I'll try to stab the ghost. Well, the daylight would have been taking your action if you wanted to do that. Oh, never mind. All right, cool. Yeah, I'll just stand. Well, here. did you want to use that over your attack? Yeah, use no. that over your attack. In in Biv mind, he was hoping that daylight would scare a ghost. That was All right, cave. no problem. All right, so we'll just go with that. Do you want to use a bonus action or a move? I'll stay put for now. Right, well, that room is now very bright and illuminated. <laughs> <laughs> so much light. <laughs> Everyone is so good at seeing right now. <laughs> All right, goes to uh, Oren. I'm going to regret this. I'm gonna I'm gonna step forward as I cast Shalele on my okay. quarter staff, and I'm gonna try and smack the okay. ghost. So it's classified as a magic weapon now. Should I? Uh, yes. Yep. Because magic. All right. Cool. Go ahead and take a swing. Uh, that is oh. an unfortunate miss. All right. Oh. Goes to um, Specter Burton. And he's going to go ahead and I think he's going to go ahead and take a swing at uh, Oren there. Because he's a bit yeah. more threatening at the moment. Apparently, I actually yeah. swiped Biv, at him. Biv Burton was like, Shazam! <laughs> and uh, was uh, distraught that it didn't do anything. <laughs> Alright, goes to, yeah, we'll go ahead and attack uh, Oren. Uh, take three necrotic, and then make a con save. Uh. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Alright, you you take three damage, uh, but it's not permanent reduction. Yeah! yeah. Alright. Yeah. Double triple ones. Good job. Good gosh. Alright, goes to, um, Zorin. Alright, give me one moment. Okay. Sacred Flame, dexterity save. Uh, I failed it, so I do take three Radiant. Uh, it definitely takes it, um, and it hisses at you. Can't really tell if it did more. or It definitely didn't seem to do less, but you can't really tell if it did extra. Gotcha. Alright. Uh, I'll assume you're staying in place, so it goes to Biv Burton. He's just going oh, no, to run it away. <laughs> it, yeah, that's probably gonna happen here. He's in javelin. Oh, whoops! My bad. I right click. I mean, you can use the javelin. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'll, yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah. Why not? It's, <laughs> all, right. it's all for. All right. So he's he's like pulling out like magic items. Pull, he's like you know, illuminating the room. Then he's like dropped his glaive and draws out a javelin and starts throwing things, throw, stabbing it with it. Um, it pierces into the, um, the spectral th creature. Um, you didn't really feel much resistance to it, but it definitely reacted to the attack. <laughs> it's, all that, it's all that crumble cake. <laughs> Alright, goes to uh, Oren. Alright. Let's see, do I just try and smack the uh, Why not? Why not, right? 
All right, uh, that hits, and it's a lot of one damage rolls here. All right, Def um, you definitely feel actual resistance when you hit it with a magic weapon, and it definitely is definitely has I'm renewed interest in you. <laughs> I'm gonna die. All right, here comes. Oh, <laughs> twenty-two damage. Uh, do you want to use your um, inspiration for the saving throw? <laughs> Yeah, I'll, make, I'll use inspiration for the saving throw. Yeah. No. Oh, wow. All right. I'm still alive. I'm still conscious of because of relentless. Endurance. Yeah, that actually. It's... Wait, no. Uh, yeah, I'm fine with that. Sure, <laughs> we'll go with that. <laughs> no, no, I mean, no, actually, no. This, or it does. It's not an instant kill. It's not an instant kill, is it? Thrower hits. It... Or hits his uh, hit point maximum is reduced by an equal amount equal to the damage taken. The target dies and its effects reduce the hit point maximum to zero. Let's find out. So half work. Relentless endurance. Well, I relentless endurance. I can do it. Never mind. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's no, it and I'm I, I'm gonna die next turn. Yeah. I almost died. Yeah. I mean, technically, it says it. You if you get reduced to zero, you, you go to one hit point instead. So technically, instead of taking 22 damage or whatever it was, you take whatever your max... Uh, Alright, but now my hit... My your, max your max hit points is, is at one right now. <laughs> yes. So it'll probably take a while, you a while to uh, recover that a little bit. <laughs> a long rest time. No, I mean the... Yeah, it's the just a long rest. Left. Yeah. yeah, but um, I am... I am fucking out of here. <laughs> yeah. So the, the specter is just like, you know, gets whacked in the side of the face by a, a magic shillelagh. And it just looks at you and just thrusts it straight through you. You see Orin. Uh, Orin's green skin becomes oh. a rather pale white as uh, he stumbles back, but uh, barely manages to right himself. And you think his part of the his area of the room is now a lot colder. All right, goes to um, Zuren. All right, you blast it. Right through the uh, torso, uh, pretty much shredding it, and it disappears. Yeah. I, I got your feeling. <laughs> I am absolutely no use anymore. That's a good thing you're a half or because, yeah, that would have been just death. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well. Everyone else want to go check the room? Because I'm, I'll am i stay back here. I check the door again. All right. do, 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 do. It is rusted shut. Can I pry it open? It'll be a strike check. Can I pry it open? You're so cl Yeah, you got it. <laughs> ah, you needed a crit. Mm. You needed a thousand. All right. Damn. Okay, um, so inside is another square room, 20 feet by 20 feet, containing a stone coffin. I'm stand back. <laughs> the ceiling is cracked, allowing roots and water into the chamber from multiple points. Although little collects here at the coffin's feet is a rusty iron ch uh, chest. Um, inside, uh, let's see, do, do, do. is it stone coffin? Okay, yep, that's pretty much it. I walk back here and I hand the wand of magic missiles to you <laughs> and say, just cover us. <laughs> I will, and luckily I can use my uh, my healing feature from 120 feet away. <laughs> I suddenly have a good use for the one of magic. Yeah, give it to the person that gets hit with a crit life drain. <laughs> can I get um, hit by life drain last session too? Uh, not last session. No, it was, no, it, was a, it was oh, the. Oh, not life drain per se, but it was. I don't remember what the spell was called. <laughs> It was Drain Life, that's product. what it was probably called. <laughs> I got hit by another life draining Alright. Are there any other traps on the doorway? Um, that, or just inside the door that I can per ascertain to with my fancy 11 roll? Uh, Alright, so from what you can see from where you're at, it doesn't seem like there's any sort of traps or anything like that. Uh, the dust has not been disturbed in this chamber at all. Uh, besides, you know, the whatever water has managed to filter into this place. Right. Um, and the coffin is closed. Uh, the chest would be technically here. I think Orin is going to develop a fear and hatred of undead. It's usually a safe one to have. But they can dance! <laughs> Zirin, if it's much 
scarier than the last one. We should probably bail. But we've come this far for the loot. And two of us are in a perfect condition. Oh, uh, we'll we'll feel it out. I'll take a confident you know what? step forward. It's dangerous, but I could sh- form shift. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and if it ever breaks from damage, you'll just go more. unconscious <laughs> when you come out of the form. <laughs> All right, you guys step into the chamber. So is this like a, this is a coffin? Uh, so yeah, there's a coffin here, and I was actually there's actually supposed to be a chest here, which is an, uh, it is a rusty iron chest in front of it. Hey, Nick. I'm gonna take the back end of my javelin and jab at the chest. Okay. It, it's pretty heavy, but it, you jostle a little bit. Seems safe enough. Okay. Okay. I'll uh, attempt to open said chest. Okay. <clears throat> so you open the chest. It is unlocked. Um, and inside you find ruined cloth and the sodden remains of a book. I'll take that uh, remains of book. Okay. It is practically it is unreadable. It's it's practically mush. <laughs> Okay, what, what I will uh, now lay the book on the floor next to the okay. chest and play with the cloth. Okay, you remove the cloth. It's just, it's probably was closed at some point, but now it's ruined. Now I'm setting that on top of the dead okay. book. Uh, so, loot's not in here. No, well, I'm in. staring intensely at the coffin. Well, I don't see any reason to desecrate the dead. That wasn't our goal. Our goal was to investigate the specter. We kind of did that. Yeah. So we don't want to open the coffin? Rest our uh, hand now in the coffin? I mean, that's on you. I mean, we were here to investigate the specter. I mean, because that's what they said. They saw ghosts. We saw ghosts. Just a peek. Okay. Just gonna it's just, I swear. slide it a little. Just to, just to take a peek. Alright, you start to slide it open. And inside you find a skeleton dressed in a rusted breastplate and clasping a long sword to its chest. Um... The moment you see it, the longsword itself flies out of its hands and starts slashing at you. You just had to desecrate the two. Oop. Alright, well, initiative. <laughs> I'm just getting better. I'm getting worse. <laughs> I'm getting worse. Let me let me roll this shit. All right. Uh, your dex is what? Plus two. Plus okay. one. Then, then if we do it like this, okay, that is actually the correct order. All right. Well, um, Zoran, you go first. Uh, yeah, you see us uh, it. Yep, it seems to be not held by anything. It's just flying around, slashing. Cleanse it with fire. Okay, I will make my deck save. I succeed. Well, I'm going to move back into the other room, because that room's really small to try and fight it. All right. Flying sword, we'll go ahead and start slashing at the closest target, which is Viv Burton of the Burtons. No. And misses. All right, goes to Oren, who's feeling very healthy right now. Uh, but the magic, I'm trying to remember, the one of magic missile regains charges, right? Yeah, it regains uh, like 1d6 plus 1 every day or something like that. I'm bringing it up right now. A step back, and I'm just gonna cast the magic. Uh, six. 
We cast like three chart. You cast a third level magic missile. Okay, it's a uh, so third level. That would be five d four plus five. So yeah, you can just do a normal roll for it. All right, so eighteen damage. So, <clears throat> so sacred flames try to lick at it and it misses. It tried to slash at Biv Burton and missed as he ducked under the uh, behind the freaking uh, coffin. And then just from the opposite side of the room, a barrage of magical bolts pelt the the flying sword until it just collapses onto the ground, broken. Hey. <laughs> And there you go. Boop. 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 Woo! So yeah. So it's down to like four charges left now. Yeah. All Seven right. Charge. Yeah, I used the level three charge, so yeah. It's down to four charges. Uh, just kind of, kind of taking another peek in there with uh, the assistance of the light of my globe. Any other shiny objects trying to stab me? Uh, nothing else is trying to stab you, and there's not really anything that I would classify as shiny inside the coffin. Cool. Um, I will reseal the coffin, okay. learning my mistake, <laughs> and try to shove the pieces of the sword back into the coffin. <laughs> All right. It pretty much like falls back into the coffin from where it's at, so it's fine. It's not really much of a sword now. Not worth it. All right, cool, yeah. Well, uh, so that little girl wasn't crazy. Can I close the gate? Uh, yeah, you can close it. With a loud, uh, cr loud creak, it'll, it'll shut. All right, stop right there, Burton. Can I finish making the move I was making or no? I was making or no? Uh, what was your move you were making? Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Alright, so as you step outside Biv Burton, of the Burtons, you see a goblin and a big half-ogre. Oh, god damn. And, she's and they look like they were waiting. Is it tea time already? <laughs> We'll go ahead and start this again. <laughs> Consistency. The, 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 the goblin pretty much just goes, get him! All right. You can do it! So all I hear is the goblin. Something yelling, get him. Hey, hey. hey, hey. And then for the goblin. Boo -boo. One last. Good thing I'm in the back. All right. So despite the fact I rolled a natural 20, I'm... That ogre's not going first. In fact, it's going like third. <laughs> All right, well, Viv Burton, you go first. Taking a five foot uh, step, I'm going to slash him and try to hit him again. All right, sounds good. Okay, what, what sort of stats does this thing have? Okay, so you slash into it. Um, it's a big, nice, soft target compared to what you've been fighting. Actually, I guess it's harder than what you've been fighting because the last thing you fought was a freaking ghost. So, your glaive cleaves right into his uh, torso, and then you smack him across the jaw with the other end for a grand total of 20 damage. And he spits out some teeth and blood and growls at you. I growl back. Alright, ghost to uh, Zeran. Is that a tank? <laughs> tank! It is a half ogre. Okay. I'm assuming they don't want to talk about it, so <laughs> I, I will hex the uh, half ogre. Okay. All right. So he's been. Do, 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 do. And I am concentrating on the spell, just so you know. So oh, of course. We'll give him the Stinja Mask. He is hexed. All right, goes to Half Ogre Burton. He uses his big battle axe and swings right at Biv Burton. 
and just barely misses. Hey. Cool. By the way, he's uh, taking negative to, to wisdom. Okay. All right, and for Goblin, Goblin will shift over here, and he's going to go ahead and take a shot at Zuran with a short bow. So take eight, uh, Zuran, and then you need to make a con save. No, he made a two on his attack roll. Sorry. <laughs> You're using lucky. <laughs> All yeah. right, that's fine. Okay, goes to uh, Oren. All right. Oh, I can't see shit. <laughs> Move a bit closer, and uh, not really much I can do. I could cast Entangle from Blind Cast Entangle. <laughs> But, Why your uh, thing doesn't show it? So what do you mean? Like what? Let's see. Let me look at my NPCs. That's so weird. Like I don't have to expand mine to actually see my actual abilities. But, yeah, I'm not actually casting entangle. I'm just checking. Oh no, that's fine. I was just I was just looking. I, I was just looking at, at Zern's character sheet. Like all this stuff is like minimized or I something. Have a, I have them all okay. list, so it's it's easier to find what I'm looking for without having to go oh, no through worries. the long list of this text to get to the no next worries. one. So I can you know find what I'm looking no for. Worries. I was just like I couldn't find the button for it. <laughs> well, I can't see any of the ogre. I can't see the ogre, the goblin from not here. at all. I'm just gonna stay okay. here for when they get eventually cleaved by the ogre. I can. All right, <laughs> goes to Vifer. Well. You are currently having a bad day. I'm having a very bad day. Yeah. It's usually an average day for him. I mean, he's conscious. That's better than last time. <laughs> uh, um, I'd like to use my rage. Okay. You are now, ang you are you are now angry. angry. And I would like to use my inspiration on my next okay. attack. Because it's kind of scary All right, looking. Go ahead. All right. Well, didn't need it, but that's good. So you definitely cleave right it. Oh, you can't do the secondary. Oh, no? Right. Oh, because of rage? But you didn't need it Got because it. he collapses to the ground. My hex is going to move to the other <laughs> target. Then. All right. Goes to Zuren Burton. Okay, so I'm going to use my bonus action on this turn to move the yeah, hex to the goblin. So I'm trying to fish it. I just want to see how it works. Make sure I didn't uh, lose my turn. Yeah, it's, uh, from it's it. all good. It functions very similar to a hunter hex or a hunter mark. All right. Uh, you can go ahead and roll your extra necro necromatic damage if you like. Yeah, it's one d four. I think so. Yes. Not one d six. Yeah, yeah, one d six. That sounds about right. All right, total of twelve, and. Pretty much the goblin's eyes go wide as uh, the big bruiser falls to the ground and then blasts right through the skull and goes to the ground. All right. Hey. So Biv Burton's heart skipped a beat, but Biv Burton is undamaged. Hmm. So I guess we know who put up the metal trap. Maybe? Uh, I'd say that's a fairly safe bet. I wonder what the ghost was trying to protect, though, as I rummage through the half uh, Yeah, these guys didn't really... I mean, the, the goblin has a short bow and some arrows and a scimitar, and the half ogre has a battle axe and three javelins. So not really much. I want right. some javelins. Three javelins, then. I yell from in the tomb. Is it safe to come out? Yeah, come on out. <laughs> Except for the giant the spider. spiders. Turn around <laughs> quickly. It will eat you. Stiff <laughs> breeze comes by and dies. I okay. close the door. All right, you close the door, and it is now shut. I'll go ahead and reapply it. Resealing the tomb. Yeah, and I forgot to put the other one back, so I'll put that back as well. There we go. 
All right. So apparently the rumor about the ghost is true. And now there's probably one less ghost now. This woman just let her child play around here? You are the most considerate barbarian I've ever met. <laughs> I guess we're going to head back to town for a long rest so that our friend can recover his health. Yeah, I need a drink. Because he was bad touched by a ghost. <laughs> if he was any other race right now, he would be a dead man. <laughs> I mean, death for massive damage, I'm fine with going around. But yeah, that was, that was pure undead drain life. <laughs> All right, well, you guys head back. Uh, we'll switch you back to the Red Lark map. All right, and uh, you can go ahead and rest up. Uh, it's, uh, I believe it was two gold for a, a private room and five sil or four, we'll say five silver for the uh, common area. Five silver. All right. Okay, a second. Do we get back super late, or is it still early enough in the day to go do some other stuff? Um, well, well, I mean, one person is right druid. now long resting, but um, if you want to like do any hey, other chat stuff, go, go for it. I want to swing down to twenty-two. Twenty-two. Okay, I believe that place is still. Yep. Oh, you went for the you went for the last number. I see. <laughs> all right. Uh, oh, and how close are we with all our travels back and forth to twenty-one being open? Twenty-one being open. Uh, you said it was only oh, yeah. open on like the weekends. Yeah, it, well, I mean, not even a day has passed really, so it, it hasn't changed. <laughs> okay, I was just more of reminding uh, myself and us that hey, we wanted that place to be open. Oh, no worries. There'll definitely be some opportunities for you to, <laughs> to, to do that. All right, uh, Valavo Sundries. Uh, let's see. Aside from the bewildering profusion of doors, barrels, rotting old furniture, and tools leaning, uh, leaning against its outside walls, this building looks like a private home. A small faded sign on the front door reads Valavo Sundries. Um, and it looks like uh, looking inside, uh, rooms are crammed to the rafters with new wares and used items of all sorts. Anything of interest to buy? Or, I mean, you know, thinking to myself, not asking out loud. <laughs> um, it's mostly kind of just a variety of new and used goods of just kind of bits of everything. Um, the owner is uh, Indrit Valavo, um, which you know as a Harper. Right. But they wouldn't know me as a Harper unless I introduced myself as one. Uh, unless they got word ahead of time. True. <laughs> so he uh, smiles and uh, he's a... Uh, he looks uh, like to be a... He's a scuttling little man um and he has uh you also see throughout the, the building uh some small uh children uh that you've seen kind of through your days of being in uh red large these look to be local children that kind of seem to be helping out and working through stuff or you know sorting things or cleaning and things like that um uh, he's like oh um what can i do for you I was uh, new in town. I'm just trying to get my bearings around town and uh, kind of exploring a little bit and see what's uh, – thought I'd stop in and see what was going on. See uh, – get maybe a feel of how the town is from you. Uh, well, I mean, uh, Red Larch has been a while, around for a while, but, um, I mean, it's been a bit, I guess, a bit down lately. But uh, your know, recent excavates uh, have kind of cheered people up a bit. Um, Obviously, people are concerned about the weird weather happenings here and there. Um, occasional disappearances. Some think it's just bandits on the roads. Uh, banditry and raids have been kind of on the rise in other locations throughout um, Desert Valley. Um, don't know. I don't many... don't know if it's relevant, but I overheard someone say that they 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 saw a skull pinned to a tree with a black arrow um, that had some kind of dire warning or ill omen. It's about half a day's walk from here. Um, 
Oh, sorry. It's a half a day's I, walk from here and then about four miles east into the hills. Um, I don't know if it's really important, though. Well, it's something worth checking out. I mean, there's a lot of stuff, strange stuff going on. Ill omens are probably not a good thing to have around. Yes, that's usually uh, how it works. I, I pull out my map and ask him if he can, uh, if he has a general idea of where it might be. All right, let me see what I can pull up. Ah, okay. We'll pull up the map real quick. Boop. And it would be that new X. It's in the hills. All right, fair enough. Is that the same area where the lightning has been, or is that the, uh, or is that the fog? Um, they didn't, you didn't really get a general, like, pinpointed idea of where those have been happening. It sounds like it's been kind of happening throughout Desert and Valley itself, so kind of, kind of okay. anywhere. Okay. Um, I ask him if he's heard of any smuggling operations in the area or any valuable goods that might have been brought through the area. Uh, through the area? Um, not recently, no. Um, business has been kind of okay around Red Larch. Um, it's probably the kind of um, there's maybe a little bit less travel coming through here for some reason, but um, overall there's not anything I don't Nothing I've seen, anyway. Nothing crazy. I mean, besides the weird rumor about some dire warning ill omen Black Arrow thing. And the disappearances. Yes. Like I said, some some uh, some people have said some travelers have been kind of disappearing. Okay. Thank you for your yep. time. Uh, have a good yep. day. All right. Um, one other thing I guess you can note from just looking through the place, uh, this is probably the first store you've seen that actually has blank books and parchment, if you're ever interested in buying something like that. Um, I would just like to quickly go over to Mahanner's Poultry 14 and chastise the grandmother for letting her child play, or her grandchild play in a dangerous place, and that she can tell Pell that my friends killed the ghost it was super cool. <laughs> All right. She kind of just lets you rant, I guess. Um, she's kind of in the mood of, you don't tell me how to raise my goddamn kids type of situation. Um, I mean, chances are she might have told her, uh, told her kids not to go play around tombs and stuff, but kids will be kids. <laughs> But you get you get you get to vent, and uh, she lets you, and then kindly tells you to leave. <laughs> I will then leave. <laughs> All right. And try to find Zurin. Zurin. All right. Well, um, I think. Uh, I guess you you'll catch me headed back up the long road as I pass yeah, you by. You did fourteen, so yeah, you guys are actually like literally in the same section of the town, so you could definitely run into each other. <laughs> Perfect. I head to 12. 12. 12 is Dorn Fire, uh, Finestone. Uh, yes, because I want some Finestone. Stones. That's obviously what, that's the reason. Uh, we lost somebody. Got somebody? All right. I okay, don't worry. Is... <laughs> All right, give me a moment. Okay. Uh, did we come to this place before? I don't remember. We'll just read the description anyway. Uh, this plain square building is always coated in a gray white. Yep, yeah, we have white <laughs> gray white shroud of rock dust. It's uh, yeah. So the last time you guys vis you guys visited visit this last session, um, it is the office of the busy Doran Quarry, and it's run by a um, Ilek Doran Dorn Dornin, uh, who's a um, Tethrian human or Tethrian. I I go inside and see if he's about. Okay. Uh, do, do, do. Uh, do, 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 do. Okay. Uh, so yeah, he's right now in there. Um, let's see. Just seeing what it is, because there are so many buildings in this place. Uh, okay. So yeah, you see him. Um, he seems to be at a desk, kind of, um, Going over, it looks like records and orders and things like that. He looks up as you approach and, uh, uh, what can I do for you? Um, 
Are you here to work at the quarry? What's the pay good? Yes. Not necessarily to work at the quarry, sir. I was just... <laughs> I'm trying to get the feel for the town. We've been here for a few days. I'm trying to see what else is going on. We're, we're kind of helping out little problems here and there while we're staying here do, doing other business in town until we're done. So we're just trying to see how things are going in the town and get a kind of a feel for things and kind of introduce ourselves so we're not the new people wandering around town. Right. So you said we were adventurers? Yes, sir. Uh, well, since you guys are always looking I'm for good. information, um, I've heard, I've heard rumors about, well, I'm sorry, not rumors, stories of some lost treasure and some, I guess, mysterious villains lurking around Trickle Rock Cave. Don't really know much about it myself. I usually don't go out of town. But uh, if you're interested, I suppose I can uh, point you in the direction of that place. Sure. Always, always willing to check out the things. All right. Checking out the things. I'll switch maps real quick. Okay, there it is. The other X. So it is in the hills. Uh, and it's a pretty long journey, as you can tell by the hexes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10 or 11, give or take. So yeah, it'll be 20 T to 22 miles. So it's definitely like a day's journey. <laughs> but yeah, if you want to check it out, go for it. So I'm Best of luck to you. Well, thank you, sir. Hope the business stays prosperous. Thank you very much. Boop. All right. Anything else you two wish to do? I figure it's got to be getting kind of late, so I head back to the inn and crash for the night. All right. Um, Biv Burton, anything else? Yeah, I'll follow. All right. We'll see you. Yep, so if you hadn't spent it already, five silver or two gold, whichever you prefer. You, uh, silver. Uh, Orhan has a very, very horrible night of shivering, even though it's rather warm in, the, in his room. Um, but uh, yeah. by the morning, he feels a lot better. <laughs> a lot more alive. Like, like a hundred bucks. <laughs> did, did we go to four yet? Mother Yolantras? Or, yes, we did. That was the halfway house, right? Or the... That was the... Um, boarding house. Boarding yep, house, that, not halfway house. Yeah, that, that was a boarding house, yes. It's okay. I thought it was where someone stored children. <laughs> no, that's apparently at the sundry shop. <laughs> <laughs> um, I let the... Uh, I let Biv and uh, them know that... Uh, uh, Orin know that uh, I found two more leads of places we possibly could go. One being an ill omen of of a black arrow stuck in a tree with a skull. Um, and uh, Biv was with me when we discovered or discussed the lost treasure. So are we treasure hunters today or are we uh, omen hunters today? Treasure! Like the, omen. the omen gives me sign gives me a bad feeling of necromancy. <laughs> All right. So, uh, treasure. treasure it is. All right. All right. All right. Wait, All right. Is, is the market open? No, not yet. It was, okay. We were at like the beginning of the week, and it only opens on the weekend, so we've got like five or six days. <laughs> yeah, give or take. But since this is going to be a two-day trip, uh, a day out, day back at least, we should be much closer when we get back to town. Right. This is also probably a situation where you will actually eat either a good berry or a crumble cake. <laughs> I'm bringing crumble cakes, damn it. <laughs> yes, I, eat the crumble cake. I'm, step, I'm, I'm stepping on all the good berries. <laughs> Just, he's like, can I have a good berry? He just throws it into the forest. <laughs> he only eat crumble cakes here. I, will, I mean, I can cast good berry. <laughs> or just eat a ration. Yeah, you guys travel 24 miles a day, so yeah, it is going to be a day out, day in, right, day back. To, uh, switch out a spell. I eat a ration. Would I be able to, will you allow me to do that after I wake up? What? Memorize a spell? Yeah, just, yeah that's fine. Memorize whatever spells you, you want before you head out. How I want to do this one thing. Okay. All right. So, which one are you guys going for? There's the cave, which was right here, and then the other one was the omen. 
I think they want to do the treasure. All right, to the treasure. Yeah. All right, so that is a 22-mile trip. And give me a moment. Uh, do, 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 do. Having to manually do this spell. It's in Xanathar's. That is that one. Okay. Okay, so... You guys follow along the uh, the Larch path, which kind of starts weaving through the um, the Sumber Hills. Um, you guys haven't really approached the Sumber Hills besides getting kind of close to it when you went to the tome, the tomb. I want to say tome. Um, it's a uh, it definitely you can tell that just looking, it gets more rocky. Even though it's called the hills, it definitely could have some pretty steep uh, inclines and things like that. It's not necessarily entirely mountainous, but there's definitely some ravines and things like that. Um, but thankfully, you don't really need to go anywhere near that part. You're not going too far deep into this place. Um, Sumber, uh, the Sumber Hills also has, you know, the usual rumors of occasional monsters and things like that. All right. So, um, well, speaking of ravines, um, so as you approach the location of the cave, um, in a ravine, an exposed rock face is split by a vertical crevice about three feet wide and 15 feet high. Water trickles from the opening and spills into a nearby bog, and the mud around the crevice are many overla overlapping boot, boot prints. Um, some head into the crevice, and some come out. Hellos? I'm sorry, what comes in, what's it comes out? Uh, footprints. Boot prints. So what kind of footprints? Boot prints. So, so like like normal person, halfling size, giants. Uh, they seem to be normal sized. Uh, uh, Alright, should we go into the ravine? Yeah. We're, we're, might as well figure out what's yeah. going on. Just right. resetting your lights before I just Oof. copy you guys over. We we adventure we away. Adventure. Adventure. Alright, so uh the crevice leads twenty feet into the hillside before opening up into a cavern. Um this is a very narrow opening, by the way. So I'll need a marching order. I'll overconfidently go first. There you go. Fastest turn uh order ever. Alright, give me one moment. 